Hey everybody, welcome to Epic Brew. I'm Tom. Today, we're going on a mission. We're at Brew Home, over here. We explored the caves in the last episode, and today we're going a little bit further out. We're going to the ruins today. We're going to see what's out there. As you can see, I've kind of built up Brew Home a bit. I've added in a, uh, like, smelter. So what you do is you put wood in here, it turns into charcoal, right? And then you put the charcoal in here with the iron ore, or the tin ore. And then you get the tin bars. They just kind of roll out here. It's a nice little process. I built the fence in the back because it looks cool, really. Over the fence over here, I've got a little some little bee colonies going. They're making me honey. It's kind of just a passive over time thing. Having their workbench over here because I realized the workbench that's inside my house, it only reached to about here. So I built another workbench out here. So if I want to, I can expand it even further. And then I added a nice little wooden fence and my favorite and most time consuming part of it is I built it all up on a hill and I dug a little trench out so if I get attacked by goblins they have to come up here which is easier said than done I open my door but I'll be here waiting for them you know at the club show them what's up but we're going to the ruins today I don't know what awaits me out there but I'm eager to find out let's hit the power up button get the five hour, five hour energy drink going look we already got a little goblin boy out here I do them, pal. See you later. The base is looking dope. Thank you. Thank you. It is looking quite dope. Spent some time on it this week after work. Just chilling, cutting down trees and stuff. I kind of made a little clearing here. So that I can get to the Black Forest a little easier. But I got to about here. So I haven't gotten much further than this. But it's a start. You built yours on an island. It looks poorly. Well, you can always fix it up. It's all basic stuff, wooden stone. Nothing fancy. This is Viking survival after all. <laughs> no concrete and steel here. I realize I probably should have reset the day or the time of day. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bolt the ruins because it's not going to matter if it's day or night if I go inside the ruins I don't think do I think you should buy the game yeah if you like what you see watch the stream for a bit longer and you can make a decision for yourself I know a lot of people in the discord have bought the game and uh, I've been enjoying it they've been messaging me about questions and this and that not too much going on in general chat about it but I know there's I know I've sold at least five copies of Valheim <laughs> So five out of four million isn't too bad. Dev should send me a paycheck here any day now, I think. <laughs> okay, we got some goblins up here. I think they're just gonna, are they gonna, they're, they're gonna die. There we go. I upgraded my club and my shield and my bow and some of my armor. So I'm a little bit stronger than I was last time. Although it's not immediately obvious. Oh, you're throwing rocks at me, aren't you, bud? Come here. There you go. Two hit wonder. Your friend told you about this game? Yeah, it's a solid game. It's fun. You can play a solo like I do. Or you can group up with friends. Tackle the objectives together. Build a base together. Make your one friend cut all the wood down while you and your other friend go do the fun stuff. You know, whatever you want. I'm going to scoop up these mushrooms, though. Nice little snack for later and some thistles. The ruins should be over here. I'm looking at the mini map in the top right. When you're breaking a stone wall, it gives back only half the resources and even bad looking, it's all you need. Well, whatever works for you. Some tin right there. I don't need that just yet. Here we go. We're at the ruins. Tom's going to stop to pick some blueberries first, though. That's just the kind of guy he is. We got this like shaman thing going on out here that I have to go investigate later. But we'll do that after the ruins. Depending on how long this takes. Make the troll cut all the wood down. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. We got... Let me pull my shield out here. He's out. I'm coming for you, archer guy. There we go. I'm tearing through these boys now. It's some cores... I saw you. I know you're over here. There you go. Two shot on you bad boys. I'm glad I upgraded the club. It's doing some work now. What is this? Oh, it's an arrow maybe? 
You're gonna buy the game now and playing tomorrow after you sleep? Nice. Nice. You'll have to let me know on Discord what you think of it. I'm always curious what you guys think about the games I play. It's part of why I have the channel is, you know, I want to be able to talk to people about what I'm playing. So it is it is cool when we can get a conversation going about more than just Mordhau. This has a lot of dead ends and I'm going to take the torch out because it's probably kind of hard for you guys to see without a torch. All these dead ends. I thought the ruins were going to be a little more interesting, but so far it's kind of very similar to the uh it's like less interesting than, than the caves were to be honest. Mordhau is my best game. Yeah, it's definitely my most popular game, but it uh, it attracts people and then I think people stay for more Mordhau and then they'll see other things. Oh jeez. They'll see other things I play. Oh, I didn't pull my shield out. There we go. They see other things I play and they're like, oh, this looks pretty cool. And then hopefully they buy it. Because before I did all YouTube stuff, I was, uh, I wrote for a couple of different indie game focused websites. And, uh, so I know a lot of indie devs and I know that they appreciate any kind of publicity that they can get for their games. Oh, looks like we got a, a skeleton spawn room over here. Gotta take this out quick. Take shots at me. Too slow, buddy. Too slow. Got some gold here. 14 coins, a ruby on the floor. And then chest over here. I got some more rubies. I got some feathers. Nice that. Certling core on the floor. Another one over here. The best part of Valheim is actually you can brew alcohol. Nice. I didn't know that. Looking forward to it already. Oh, there's another spawn room over here, huh? These skellies are too slow for me. Oh, he's hiding behind the door. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, what is this room? Amber. Okay. Make some dinosaurs later, I guess. <laughs> Can I take the swords off the wall? No, they're just decorative, I guess. Now, what does this say? The Elder. Oh, is this the new boss? Where's he at? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we got a hike. I think I discovered him in the, the caves. But I forgot how long of a hike I have to go find that. What I'm assuming is the other boss. Okay, so we've already been through here. Have I been left? There's just so many dead ends and there's no like... There's no ruins minimap. I think I've explored this whole thing. Oh, I hear more skeletons, so I guess that's a no. Where are these skeletons at? I hear you. I just don't see you. Just collapsed. Can I hit it with my pickaxe? Will my pickaxe break through this? No. Nothing. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any more. I'm hearing skeletons though. I'm not going crazy, right? Okay, I haven't been through here. Okay, so this is just kind of an empty room. There's a chest, some bones over here, some bone fragments, and some of this, some arrows. What kind of arrows are these? Flint head, is that these? Yeah, flint head. I can just combine that stack. All right, I need to eat here. What's the other thing? Hooked meat. Oh, it's still good. It's still good. 
Grab this mushroom and then another dead end. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's it for the ruins, huh? Alright, well, there's something. Let's get back out. We'll go tackle that um that spawning island uh goblin business now. It shouldn't be too difficult. I might just be able to snipe the big guy from over here. He's a brute, it says. Look at that, half his health. Get out of here. Oh, I whiffed it. He's getting close. He's getting real close. Nothing. He's got nothing on me. I got a little guy coming in fast. Shot him in the knee about killed the guy. There we go. Too slow. Too slow. They're all just standing around over there, huh? My arrows. There we go. I'll just shoot them as they come. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Ooh. Come here. There you go. See you later. Come here, Grey Dwarf. Oh, you hit me with that? That's so rude. That's so rude. I mean business now. It's nighttime. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a shaman? Just gonna smash all you guys. Oh, he's a brute. He's a brute. Oh. I couldn't parry. Oh, there's two of them now. Okay, this guy's low, so I'm just gonna run in. I'm out of stamina. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, might be time to back up a bit. There we go. I got the big guy. One of the big guys, anyway. I gotta, like, time my blocks. Are you not coming in here? The AI is bugging out on me. Are you... What's going on, big guy? There you go. Ooh, he almost got me. He almost got me. Okay, I'm gonna have... Uh, Oh, I maxed out on everything. Okay. I'm just gonna, from a safe distance... What is this? Ancient seed. Let's get rid of these dandelions. I don't need that. What else can I get rid of? Some rocks. Let's get rid of the rocks. And then what is this? A trophy? There we go. He's healing himself. Get out of here with that. Ooh, right in the face. I'm gonna try to snipe down this nest though. They keep spawning in. What is this out here? My inventory is all full. That was a terrible shot. Is that poison? I've never really tried to find out. But it definitely heals them. No, oh, I couldn't parry that. Did I break the nest? I must have broken the nest because it's gone now. Well, that was a fight. I'm still good, though. <laughs> I'm still good. Get out of here, deer. The whole deer family's over here now. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into dinner, pal. So I've only seen ten. I haven't seen like bronze or anything yet, and I need bronze to make a farm apparently. So I need to figure out where to get bronze from. 
But my inventory is packed right now, so I think I'm gonna head home. And I feel like I've explored like the whole like Black Forest Island here. I don't think there's like anywhere I haven't found on the island yet. Oh, there's some there's some big boys walking in the woods now. What is this? Oh, a bunch of wood? Where all that wood come from? Oh, bronze looks like big rocks, but blue? Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight anymore. Oh, that's not my... <laughs> that's not what I wanted to use. There we go. Not just big, massive. There we go. Two shot him. And it's copper. Well, if you see me run by it, let me know, because... I don't really know what I'm looking for. Like, would it be, like, this big right here, or, like, this big? Like, this rock or water rock? Bigger? Really? Okay. Oh, this guy's a one star. Hit me again. Come on. There we go. Dang, so bigger than those rocks. Alright. Yeah, I'll definitely have to keep my eyes peeled then. Once I find it, I'll never miss it again. Alright. I got some carrots. Oh wait, I have to drop something for these carrots, huh? Gotta get rid of the feathers, I don't need them, I have so many. I want to make a carrot farm, but I need the bronze to make the thing to plant the, uh... To plant the carrots, because apparently you can't just put carrots in the ground in this game. You have to make some metal instrument to plant them. Super weird. This torch is about dead. I don't have my sprint ability active yet. There goes my torch. I'll make another one. I always hate how dark it gets in this game. It's cool, but I know it doesn't look great for people watching. So many deer. Sometimes I, sp I feel like I go a whole day without seeing a deer. And then tonight, they're just everywhere. That's why I sleep at night. Does it make the game brighter? Oh, he's a boar. Out of here, boar. Is he chasing me? He's not chasing me. I think I can cross right here. It's probably good. I'm wet and I'm cold. <laughs> what a rough life for Tom Scar, the Viking. I'm just about home, though. I've noticed that um, when I have like a, the, the charcoal going full blast and the tin going full blast, if you load it up and then you go to bed, it processes it as if it's in real time so when you wake up it's as if that time had passed so all that stuff that was processing is done so instead of waiting there for like five minutes or whatever you can just load it up go to sleep wake up and it's all done in like a minute instead of like 15 or whatever so that was kind of saving me some time during the week we're just about home now Oh, monsters spawn more often at night? Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. 
Well, yeah, there we go. We, uh, we explored the ruins. We know where the boss is now. We're going to have to really figure out a way to get <laughs> over here faster. Because it took me a good chunk of time to get from here to here. And that's like one, two, like that's almost like four times as much just to get to the next boss. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But until that time comes, so I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you all next time.